Oh my goodness, it has been a crazy couple of weeks. I've been sick. Now, if you've been reading some of my blogs or if you know me, you know that that just doesn't happen very often. Back in the days when I used to catch colds regularly, we used to call it having a cleansing. Well, I tell you what, I've been having a big cleansing. But everything in my life, I tend to learn from. And I've learned a whole bunch of things in the last couple of weeks. So I'm here to share with you what they are. And it has to do with desludging for growth. Now, I don't know about you, but there are a lot of different areas in my life where things kind of get bogged down, you know, closets and drawers and tables and stuff. And some of those things are in my body and some of those things are in my checkbook and things that I need to get caught up on, things that need to be cleaned up and handled from the past. Um, sometimes some of those things go way back. And despite our best efforts to kind of keep current on our personal, spiritual, emotional stuff, there may be old stuff hidings in the nooks and crannies of our being. And some of that stuff just came screaming to the fore when I started working on this assignment for a program that I'm doing for personal growth. And uh, so I want to tell you a little story. I was doing this assignment and looking really a lot deeper into my why. And some of you have seen blogs I've written or videos I've done saying things about, I want to help you find your magic. And I realized that that sounded kind of fluffy and that there might be just a little more depth underneath that that, that wasn't apparent in how I was sharing it. So I want to tell you how that uh, came up for me over the last two weeks as I was clearing out some really old sludge. Now, I don't want to drag you through that sludge because it's not that much fun. You know, that's save that for when you watch drama in the evening on TV or in the movies. But I'll just tell you a little snippet. About 30 years ago, I had some big things happen when I was in my uh, early 20s. Okay, so maybe it was 20 some years ago. I'm not that old. Um, but uh, I had a baby that I gave up for adoption and that obviously is a really big thing and was traumatic. And, and then I moved across country to do some things for my career. And I was, I was singing. Um, and a girlfriend and I moved out east to Boston. And then while I was there, uh, my dad, who had been in remission with leukemia, passed away. And during that time, I went into a pretty serious depression. Now, you just keep trying to go through life when you're depressed. Some of you have been depressed. I know about the black hole, and luckily I haven't seen it now for a very, very long time. But it's very real. And I had this thing happen where my girlfriend and I were at a party. And I wasn't feeling anything like myself. I was just kind of blank because I was so numbed up with the emotions that were all stuck in me at the time. And my girlfriend introduced me, and I've gone by the name Amia, which is my baptized name at different times in my life. And she said, this is Amia. She's an opera singer. And there was this part of my being that just took a really deep sigh. Because even though I wasn't able to do the things every day that made me feel like an opera singer, what I was studying and, and working toward at the time, she knew the me inside, and she spoke to that, and she introduced me as that. And it helped me to know the me inside in that moment. And so in everything that I do, I seek to help people find that spark of the life force that is them seeking to express in whatever way they're wanting to express it at the moment. It doesn't really matter what it is. It's a part of their journey to express that part of their creativity right then, even if it's only for a week or a month, and then it leads them to something else. And so when I talk about helping people find their magic as my why, what I'm here to do, that's what it's connected to. Because... At those times in your life when you're having a dark night of the soul, you really need someone else 
who is grounded in the knowing that I am grounded in, that there is a truth about you deeper than these circumstances, whether it's something going on with your body, something going on with your emotions, something going on with your business or your financial world. There's all kinds of ways to pull yourself up out of that. But sometimes just having another soul on the planet who can just speak to that part of you can help you take the steps that you need to move through the sludge. So thanks for listening. I'm grateful to be able to share that and make it a little clearer for you and for myself. If you work with me, I am that person who can help you know the truth about who you are in the moments where you forget or you're frustrated or you're needing to be in the middle of it to get through it. And so I'd like you to take some kind of action today for yourself, whether that's making a phone call for something you've needed to do to express that creativity in you or that thing that wants to get out, that thing you want to do, or if it's making an appointment with a healthcare practitioner, whether that's me or somebody else, um, whether it's finding a way out of a financial hole you've dug yourself in or looking for a new opportunity, you can connect with me for several of these things. I work with my business with energy medicine, helps people with body, mind, heart, and soul. I teach energy medicine, and uh, I also work with this thing called the Empower Network, which can help all kinds of things with personal growth and financial development. So click like on this video, connect with me, click one of the links below to either join my team or go to my website, and I'd love to be that grounded force for you so that you can find that spark in you that may be hiding in the sludge right now, or maybe it's just Maybe it's just in a shadow. Maybe it's not that big of a sludge. And all you need is a little spark, a little light, so you can see it and feel it yourself. So take some action now, and I'm here for you. Thanks. Have a great day.